Well, it's a place where many a relationship has formed or failed, where people go to meet old friends as well as make new ones. It's the hub of small communities and a centre for both celebrations and commiserations. Jono Korf and co-author Ned Bartlett pay homage to the humble pub in their new book, The Great Kiwi Pub Crawl. And Jono is here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Jono. Well, thank you very much. What a pleasure to be here. It is lovely to have you here with your amazing book. I want to know, um, what was the criteria for you to start with the pubs in this book? Like, how did you get them? Oh, crikey. Well, there's uh, probably three or four different kinds of pub. There's the, the, the battle cruiser that's been there since day one of New Zealand's foundation. There's a couple of ones that aren't so historic that are just really cool to, to be in. There's some places that are quirky and interesting. There are places that are great communities. And there's just stories in just about every uh, one of these places if you dig deep enough and look. Clearly you are a man who enjoys going to the pub. <laughs> and I'd like to point out, first of all, I'm not soused. Despite what that tea shot said before, I, yes. am not, I have not started drinking <laughs> at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but obviously you like going to a pub and having a good yarn. Um, was that part of the reason why you wanted to be part of this book? Well, it's sort of in genesis how that pub uh, book sort of happened. And Ned and I, uh, Ned Bartlett, my co-author, we were both captains of respective pub cricket teams. And um, we just had this affinity for pub and uh, got to know each other through that. And we started writing about pubs and, and, um, and so this book sort of came about. But yeah, I do have an affinity with pub because, and I say pub because it is a world, it's a community of its own. You could be gregarious or you could be introverted and still enjoy yeah. uh, an afternoon at the pub. Yeah, absolutely, you can do, You can just you? be there by yourself and you won't be called a loser for leaning with your pint doing the crossword or you could be surrounded by your mates. How many did you visit in the making of this book? That many. That many pubs? Because you're a sales rep in the South Island and you um, you were doing this sort of on your on your off days. I, I was. Um, I, I've and on days? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I wouldn't say that. Well, you do have to travel and yeah. uh, part of the research was me staying at places that uh, were just uh, road points. And the earliest pubs were, were actually hotels. That was part of New Zealand history and that they had to uh, provide accommodation. But, um, yeah, it, it's, it was... Very much part of uh, what I did was travelling around and you know, yes, you've got to stop for a cheeky drink every so Well, no, but that's the thing, Johnny, because a lot of Kiwis, you know, they drive past these pubs and they're probably fascinated about, you know, their history, what goes on there, how it, you know, works in the community, and you've got it all covered here, which I love. What was your modus operandi? What did you do when you went into the pubs? Did you sit down and take notes, or did you just talk to people? Well, I think Ned and I both had a similar op uh, MO. We'd turn up probably unannounced most of the time, we'd just think, oh, I've never been here before. Um, and so it was almost touristy for us as well to go and visit these places. We'd turn up, we'd, um, we'd just quietly introduce ourselves and just start talking to people. And the stories would sort of come organically from there. You can't go in and go, right, what's the history of this place? And if you put a publican on the spot and say, I bet this place has got loads of great stories, they'll go, yeah, it does, and then go, I can't remember it. <laughs> um, talk, talk us through some of these pictures. Okay, so um, the first one here is the Puhoi Pub, which is an Auckland institution. I mean, you know you're uh, in Auckland when uh, quinoa is the star of this show, but um, <laughs> the Puhoi itself is a, is a two-legged story. It's one of those places that uh, is a de facto museum and just the walls are covered with all sorts of interesting paraphernalia and weird and wonderful stuff. But the other prong of the story is the legacy of the, uh, the publican, uh, Rod Seymour, and you talk to the staff, and uh, he died uh, not so long ago, but you can tell there's, uh, he had a profound impact on them. Just your classic pub rat bag. Yep. He had his licence yeah, taken off him so pictures. many times. Yeah. Yep. Nice. And um, so this is just some of the, uh, the, the things you will see when you walk through the door. But walking, it doesn't do it justice. When you walk through that door, there's things hanging off the roof, there's bras, there's bullheads, there's all, sort, <laughs> okay. all sorts of things. So the Vulcan Hotel in St Bathans, just north of Alexandra, is a New Zealand institution. It's been on that many ads. But um, funnily enough, talking to the, the publican Jude Kavanagh and her husband, uh, they say, yeah, it's not just a museum, it's actually a, a fully working pub. And, uh, I, I'm sick of people walking through the door just having a look around and buggering oh, off. Right. As you said that, <laughs> two drink. people walk through the door and then buggered oh, off. Oh, no way. <laughs> so, but there's more to the story than, than just having a look at this, this uh, magnificent um, piece yeah. of New Zealand history. Where's okay. this? Yeah, what's that about? Ah, the land of my nativity, <laughs> Golden Bay. That's uh, part of... Um, they've actually got a telephone out, uh, pole out the, uh, the front which has a whole heap of mobile phones nailed to it as a message that, um, yeah, turn your phone off and just come inside and be 
sociable. I love that. They're yeah. a little bit odd in Golden Bay, as you can probably, <laughs> That's probably great. tell. No, really I like that yeah. idea. Yeah, I really do. do. Okay, let's take a look at an Auckland one now, because I've never been to this one. Is it worth a visit? Well, why? Why haven't you I been? I don't know. I've just driven past it. It's just around the corner. Shame on you. It's just around the corner. I don't know. Just there's something about it where I'm like, oh, I don't want to go. This is a legacy. Um, this is actually a piece of history that should be treasured by Aucklanders, because nice. it, it's right in the centre of the city. It brews its own beer. And it's been standing since almost day dot. Um, it's, it's something that should be treasured. And oh no! Well, now that you've said it, I will go there. Okay, we've got to go. Um, there's so much I want to ask you, but I'm going to have to save it. But what's your favourite? The Twisted Hop in Christchurch. It's um, where I um, met several friends. I used to work at the Twisted Hop before the earthquake destroyed it in Poplar Lane. I met my uh, wife there. I um, just have really fond memories of this place. And then it was destroyed in the earthquake. But rebuilt uh, in Central Christchurch, it actually became three pu uh, two pubs and a brewery. So the laboratory out in Lincoln, it became the, uh, a phoenix from the flames. Awesome. And really emblematic of the rebirth of Christchurch. Oh. Great, great read. The Great Kiwi Pub Crawl by Ned Bartlett and John O'Korf is a great read. And it is available right now. John, thank you so much for coming in. Oh, what a pleasure. Thank you.